What's up, fellow duelists? Why's your life here? Um, Happy New Year starting off this video saying Happy New Year to everybody. Hopefully, everybody's starting their New Year's 2024 off good. Um, Year of the Dragon. Um, Currently, right now, um, this deck profile is with Fire Kings with the new structure deck and finally building it and get into my play style of Fire Kings, really. Um, Last time I really played Fire Kings, I had a, like a mixture with the um, Metaphos just to help them trigger. This is kind of like from the structure that new build with Pier. Um, this deck is right now currently on a budget because I do not own any um, d Star or any of the one it spell cards. So this is really budget and this is how I feel like you should really play this deck. On the budget with the monsters, spells varies. Um, and if you want to play more trap, that's on your preference. Um, this deck is 40 cards, but starting the new year off with Fire Kings. Go ahead and get into the deck profile. Um, starting off, we're going to have um, two Sacred Fire King Garonix. Um, three, third one is in the side deck. Um, Basically, just you want to be able to pop things from your deck to trigger to, to stay in your board or deal with things your opponent has. Um, the Avatar Garuna is because basically um, you don't have to do Bella Star. Also, popping it, some, being able to summon this, and when it's sung by its own way, you can still pop a card in your deck. So, popping this to have the recursion during your standby phase. To trigger more things off like your Kieran or other things to um, just to get um, things activated. You got to get your Fire Kings activated so you would need them. Need to pop that from the deck. Um, and also it just has the effect when it's destroyed by battle. So say if it's your opponent book a moon in it or um, flip it face down. And it gets destroyed by battle. You get spell summon any fire king from the deck, so you get to summon the other one out and get the effect and gain attack. So basically, stopping your opponent in their battle phase. Also, um, I think Karen really is the new addition to the deck, and you honestly really, really, really need to play three Karens. Like um, mainly, you can your ratio can change with. Your sacred fire king Garonis, but Karen at three is also good. Just help with the um, rank eight exceeds and just being a body. And also, it's a good rekindling um, target for level eights. Like rekindling for level eights, just it's good. Excuse that shake. Um, Narv Narv Vata, um, Avata, um, three, just for monster, monster negation, and just like Karen, this and Karen on board is mainly the main thing you'll pass board with, so both of them recur with each other coming back, but Karen pops, so be mindful of that, so please have light, so that's why you play the Garunits, because Garunits, you can just pop and have these on field. Or get the Garunas back and then just pop the Garunas to trigger the Garunas off the camera and go on your opponent's turn. So with the original Garunas, you Avatar Garunas, you just keep using Karen with the, the recursion bat until you be able to get your rank 8 on the field. One of the um, Rambala um, level 4 just negate spell and traps mainly like stuff. That can really um, break your boards. Just you have this for your backup. Um, I was testing two burning, but I decided to go to one because um, you have enough monsters that's in here that level eight that when you pop, you special summon. When you hit a fire monster, you special summon. Um, so you don't really do too much with the low level same as I don't play no level three fire kings or no the other level four fire kings so keeping account small and consistent I find that ratio good and plus I run three team keys so I'd be able to search either or of these when needed to um 
you know, three little chickens on Fire King little chickens. So hold next. Pull next. Um just be able to search Fire King spelling traps. You don't play that many, but being able to grab them and then when you and popping this with Fire King Island and search for one of your big guys and you get this back. Or just also just another way to pit body on board to um until you get the pieces you need really to your hand I mean, get out them bad hands it's just really need it good addition for a search um hand traps honestly you know you want to control your opponent spamming and stuff so i played two nibiru's but uh, also i think about putting a raw package together just because it's fire king and chicken you just um use wind dragon raw and Immortal Phoenix. Trying to um gotta get those um right. But I have fear mode and I have a raw. I just gotta get the Phoenix mode. Um you know, Ash stops a lot of things still in this meta game. Um Maxi still have them came off the ban list with the um first of the year ban list, so Ash Blossom is my um main deck go to for stable now just like everybody else um drone lot bird just a slow down decks um that seems kind of to be more faster than mine because i am on budget but drove being reprinted the structure that is good for um budget players like myself so we have drill spells starting off i'm um, just three tinkies you know once per turn, activate it. Um, you know, draw out the ash so your Fire King Saint can work. Um, bluffing your opponent just is bait, really. Um, you only you don't have that many targets. Most of your target you you get in your opening hand for your level fours. So I'd run three Fire King Saint because I actually want to see this more than the Fire King Island. So I would want to see this in opening hand. Um, honestly, I test two, and that's why I took out another Baran for the third one of this, and just ran three Tinkies instead of two Tinkies because honestly, you just like it places on the field, but you just really want it so you can exceed something during your opponent's side during your opponent's turn, being able to exceed into your your Fire King exceed. The one Fire King Island to be able to surge or special summon when I don't control no monsters. So Garunit's in the hand is not dead as long as you get to the Fire King Island. Um Fire King um Skyburn. Um as a one of aside the other two, um for when I want to play more conservatives conservative going um first, so but Honestly, don't know if I'm going first or second, so I decided to go on one right now, main it and starting off with the deck. Um, one circle, also, before I um, move on from circle, um, your um, rekindling is good with a lot of level, a lot of the fire kings, just the, um, just the Garunix you can't use in Ash. But other than that, you have a uh, plenty of targets and stuff in the game for Yu-Gi-Oh for Rakelin to be actually good in this deck. Especially when we have more um, generic high-level synchro, so um, Rakelin is very possible in Fire um, Fire King. So do not sleep on that. Nobody, anybody that's on a budget, they, you'd be surprised that somebody can. Have Rakelin exceed on you and do a, so many things on you with Rakelin. Um, especially even after him being the Biru. Um, we have one for one just to get the um, Pulix out. Um, um, you could summon a Droll if you want to, you know, that's player preference for Link summonings, but mainly just for the. Publix. One Harpy Feather Duster, because I said I'm on a budget. Um, working on getting 
better staples for this deck. Um, the one call by the grave because when you when you just want to grind in the Yu Gi Oh games where your opponent wants to stop you, you, you gotta have the call by the grave. Like, we have two trade ins because we play about seven level eights, searchable, um, Garunix hitting graveyard just to draw two. So, two trade ins um, for the main deck. And if I'd be able to get some pot of prosperities, I would take this out for pot of prosperities. Um, pot of extravagance is kind of iffy because it's random. So, pot of prosperity would be the best option for this deck. Um, with a 25 inch. A 25 um, anniversary um, collection pack. I haven't really got too many, but I got some right here to the side momentarily opening with this video. But I'm still trying to um, get a collection back up to date with stuff. So I'm still building decks on the budget right now. And ending this deck off with three impermanence as another hand trap. Just for when my opponent go first, impermanence, I can still also negate and ash. Um, slow my opponents down, stopping the monster effects, and keep them keeping their boards under control. Um, basically, for the extra deck, kind of not really in order right now. Excuse me. Um, hang. Of the Fire King, um, Grunix Eternal. Just love to, just really love this guy. If he has material, you don't detach, and he has material. When he gets destroyed, he just summons your Fire King right back, and you're able to summon another one. So, you play three. You could drop this for other things, but like a Zeus or um, Felbrand. We have the one Dingrisu because his effect says sin. And so sometimes when cards can't be destroyed by card effects um, or target, you just send them off the field. Um, for the rank fours, not playing Dweller because it's Fire King's trigger in the graveyard, basically. But we do have a Tiger King. Still have a Platinum Tiger King after selling all my stuff. But. Um, Tiger King still my favorite Beast Warrior since Barbul is still banned. So we have um, Tiger King be able to negate monster effects. So this is a walking dark ruler no more for people who do not know. And playing Fire Kings without this guy, you need to play this guy playing the level fours um, to being able to summon him and negate your monster boards to break your opponent's board. Um, another good one is Cry cook pop cards he gains and it's easy to have um no other cards on the field with his effect so that's another thing that's a plus and he's a killing um target also from the extra deck um number sixty the timeless um his fire um being able to draw some of the monster or just monster double attack that's basically it um structure that came with a diamond dire wolf good reprint for common um as much as i can say diamond dire wolf is a beast so it's good um we have a mirage in here you know from the chick from the Pelix level one you can just use Hate, the fire charmer because it's fire and people play ash so um cool talker because it's generic um transport talker is another generic but you make the transport talker with the cool talker and you bring it back so just adding more bodies on board um with lincoln also, we have um, one Simon, um, Solomon Great Heat Leo. 
Raging Phoenix, um, the Underworld Goddess, and uh, the Extra Deck. Um, they're just Link Monsters I still had, but just to be filler in to the Extra Deck. Um, Fab Deck, the third Secret Fire King. Second of the um, Rainbala. Because of the ban list, we had get to run two Pranker Tops, so you just can take out the um, Nibiru's or the um, Garonics and just put this in to um, help break your opponent board um, more easier. The other two um, Fire. Fire King Skyburn. Third trade in. One more Fire King Island. Um, just in case I really need it. Um, two were killing. Like I said, it's very possible to recur with killing in here and use your XC um, level four and your um, level eight monsters. Summoner art, um, because fire deck and I'm on a budget, and you know, game three, me going to time, this is literally for just game three, just being able to attribute your um, Garunits and being able to um, hit your monsters, um, hit your Garunits and burn your opponent on um, on their first turn, just basically in time, so just for time. And then off with um, D Bear because stopping synchros or stopping fusion decks is a thing. So just turning off effects on your opponents. So you don't really have to go to your XCs. You can go to your links when you um, add a VD Bear. So XCs, fusions, and it's all good for. So that's my. Um, that will conclude my. Fire King budget deck profile. Now let's go ahead and get into these New Year packs right here. We have 11 of the Anniversary Rarity Collection packs. And we have about 10 Age of Overload packs. So we're going to go ahead and get into the Rarity Collection, 25th Anniversary for the New Year. Okay, Pot of Scrabians. Nightmare Unicorn, okay. Nightmare Unicorn. Galaxy Eye Full Arm. Proton Dragon, okay. Let's take three level eights. Harpy Feathers Wing. Need a third Fallen Albaz, okay. Nentis, Nentis again. Oops, stop behind it. Junk Speeder, Vision Hero Fierce, okay, okay. Ghost Trick Angel of Mistress, Dogmatic of Punishment. Ben 10, Lone Fire Blossom, Spell Book of Judgment, okay. Ooh, look what we have here, Egy Egyptian God Slime. Good. Mistress, Klesia, Triple Attack of Talent, needed that, and the even the match, okay. We're gonna way up, we're gonna way up. Ice barrier, okay. Reasoning. Dogmatic punishment again, okay, okay.
dimensional shifter. Got too many dimensional shifter and don't even run this guy like seriously. Magician got slime. Okay. Slow book of judgment. Ooh. New dear servant. And we got another new beer, you guys. So let's got third and beer here. Okay. Dimensional D shifter. Magician salvation. Ooh. Okay, ice bear. Inspect the border. Lightning storm, you guys. This will be my third lightning storm now. I'll replace that. Danger jackalope. Secret fat fella. Ooh, beautiful. Last raw fierce mode. And it's actually prismatic. Let's go. Another evenly matched. Never can have any too many evenly matches. Dark ruler no more. I'm, I feel so different about this card now. Um, some of the fact that not taking battle damage is just annoying. Red eyes flare metal dragon. D shifter. Another full on bath. And another beautiful new beer. The primal bean. Alright, down to the second last pack, guys. Fallen Albaz. This Diamond Magician. Okay. Mistress. My last triple attack of the talent. Two triple talents. Okay. And a harpy. Featherwing, okay, okay. Compose, Mistress, Small World, Chaos Space, Down a Magician. Okay, not too bad with those, not too bad with those. No Pot of Prosperity though, but probably one per case. Individual packs, but oh well. First pack of Age of Overload. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got a horse card. Okay, I don't know. If that's will work with Fire Kings, but good addition. Embrace of the Tesla. Honestly, I hope next set that they they really. Show what this deck does, like honestly. Snake eyes, snake eyes, snake eyes. Get a pendulum monster. Oh, I got a birch. Finally got a birch. One of each of the um, level ones now. The snake eyes. Can I get a snake eye secret? Okay, uh, Arc Dragon. Ooh. 
Super Star Slayer, Sky Crisis. And I can't even tell if that's them edges really do look like it though. And it's not even a secret though. That's the crazy part. That just is beautiful on that though. Okay, exceeding the pendulum. Second copy of that one. Still don't have a pendulum deck for the new year, but it's gonna come in handy soon. Scapegoat. All right, another pendulum warrior, dark guy. Four thousand defense. Oh wow! Snake Eye Phil spell. Wow. Going pretty good with this, doing pretty good with this. Not too shabby, not too shabby. And in our video with last pack, you guys, let's what we get. Wings of Light, okay. Second one of that. I really needed that. Um So thanks you guys for tuning into the Fire King New Year's budget deck. Subscribe again, Joe video I'm um, here for the new year stay tuned go ahead and subscribe for new more videos this year trying to get my subscribers up let's get the 500 before my birthday in May and stay tuned you guys watch your life signing out